recording when I am done sketching this. So, see you guys until then. Okay, I am back and I have now sketched this thing done. And um, as you can see, there's a lot of space around here and here. Yeah, there's a lot of space here around the main thing in the picture, which is this cat. Um, what you do to center your picture, if you're going to center it, because um, when you do something like you have a tiny character down here, here's your character, the full character, then you have a lot of stuff here, and then you're stuck about doing about knowing what you are going to do there. Instead of stressing with that, you can just simply use the crop tool, select the part you want to remain, and press the and press the check button up here. Then you see we are centering the picture, but also making the canvas a bit smaller. Make sure you have enough space to put on a copyright mark if it is your own art. Like this. Now we have it. And important thing which I have forgotten through this whole tutorial saving. Control S. Then you can... I'm just gonna... Save this in sketches and name it to Tori tutorial. May save it as a Photoshop or PSD or PDD file and make sure layers are checked here. Then you simply simply press save and since and just press OK here. And since I am not from any English speaking country, since I am from Norway, my saving and stuff is in Norwegian. And that is why my English is a bit bad. So, <clears throat> excuse me for that. Okay, here we have mainly a cat. And, um, oh, by the way, I do not have a special version of Photoshop. This is the usual Photoshop CS2. But I have Windows 8, as you can maybe see. I have Windows 8, so I this makes the windows look like this. <clears throat> Anyway, as you can see, this sketch is, it looks very hard to see the lines if you're going to line this with black. What do you do then? To color the sketch, press this. Then you lock the transparent pixels, which means that you can, that only the pixels that are colored will be color on if you're going to press a color. So I can do this and it won't be anything outside of it. But if I don't have that pressed, it will just yeah, ruin it like this. So we do this and now we have a nice pink sketch. Then you can, since I have figured out a lot, but not everything in Photoshop, you can just press that again. So it won't be any pixels around here and around here that will be colored. Now we, since we have a sketch layer, we can start line arting. We name it la line art there. And um, I use size three for line arting on brushes. So you just simply press size three there. And I line it with black, of course. So we zoom in and move around up here and we start line arting this. Sometimes size 3 is a bit small, so you can just use size 3.5. It won't work, it just runs it off to size 4 and then you get this size here. Size 4 is an okay size, but I prefer to use size 
3. And for pressuring these lines, simply use the eraser tool, put it on a small size like 1, and you erase around the parts here to make it look like that. Um, yeah, and uh, for just gonna pressure this like this, and um, I'm going straight to eyes. For eyes, uh, you can see there is a thick line up. There's a th thick line up here. Wow, there's a thick line up here. I do not do that, okay? Just to say that I don't like scribble, 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 scribble. Because then you get, if you don't control the mouse enough, since I have a mouse, it looks like this. Um, then I use a bit bigger brush, like size 9 for the top here. And we have to get that line correctly, which is quite hard at the moment. Then you make a bit smaller size, like 5 for the under stroke there. That is at least what I do. You don't need to do it exactly as I do. Do it your own way. And since we have a tiny skin part there, or tear canals, I think it's called in English there, we do pressure it like this. Okay, so if we are, if I were doing a full size picture, I would have shown a tiny paw tutorial. But since I won't do it in this main tutorial here, I would just simply do a fur, fur tutorial instead. So very important, use same size as you did in the other lines, which that is normal here. So uh, <clears throat> we have Jake Fluff here. If you do something like this, that is not cat fluffing. More wolf fluffing is like this. But this is quite crappy because I can't do it in parts. So <clears throat> You line up the muscle here. I'm just going to do very quick that. Okay, um, and then like this. Here we have tiny fluff. And since it is a bone here that is shaped like this, the fl fur would therefore go along this. That it helps with making a line, like doing from the chin here. And do the like this. Then it's easy for you to place and form the cheek fluff right. And when you come to fur up on the head to make it look fluffy, don't make don't do it like don't do it like this. Just don't. It looks one, it looks horrible and two it looks wrong. You make not that curly, but a bit curly there. Um, this is only if you want a bit curly fur. And then you just don't only go like this and this and just make varied shapes like a double stroke there, for an example. Then the fur looks more realistic and the cat will turn out to be to look more cuter and you would probably be proud of your work because if you just do like this it's too spiky it doesn't look soft at all but if you do something like this it looks soft now we go for not showing how to do ears because that is my style and I don't want people to copy it so, um, save. Very important to remember to save each time you have 
save each fifth minute or each fifth or eighth minute, then you will don't lose your progress uh, if your computer crashes or the program decides to glitch. Um, so I'm just gonna pause the recording and come back later when I have line arted. Okay, <clears throat> here we are back and I can't find... Okay, there we have the tools. What? Um, now I am ready to erase the sketch. I'm gonna go to the sketch layer and just simply erase it. Since we have these fantastic layers, you won't need to, like for example in paint, you won't need to just fill the layer or the canvas with a color to remove the sketch. So now you can just simply erase, and I'm just going to erase the eye sketch as well. Just to check that you have erased everything, just simply choose the biggest brush you can find in the brush panel. And then we are now ready to color. I choose this group here and name it cat, cat not catcher, cat. There we go. Then I choose a new layer and then I choose what color this cat should have. We're gonna color it. Um, I'll just simply draw it. Color it, I mean, for this brown color here. Just color with. Uh, Okay, now we have colored, but I won't bother to just zoom in close to lines like here and just go around and erase around the lines. That takes way too much time and I am not very patient with coloring and stuff. So we'll simply go to line at layer, press this magic wand. This magic wand selects everything that is not inside a closed area. So as you can see, it only selects outside the line art because the line art is closed. Then you go to select up here, modify and expand. Then you expand it with one pixel. Then you can see as up here, like in this place, like there, Go. I used to use this lasso tool to select small these small areas. And here it is very, very important to check that you have this option, not this one or this one. This is very important unless you want to select the whole thing again. You have to, then you go around and select, simply select like this and since we're lucky we can just go like this and then you go to the layer where you have the color very important that is not the line art layer press just go to the biggest brush you can find and erase everything away um, and uh, like this, and you can just deselect. That is Control D, or go to Select, Deselect. Then you see it's Control D. Um, now we have this thingy here. Um, you can, if we're gonna have markings on this, which I am going to do, pr press New Layer, right click on it, and Select Create Clipping Mask. 
then you can draw everything and it won't color the pixels that is not colored on the layer underneath. I will starting to get a long video so I'm gonna pause it and split it is the split this into two parts.